Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yeah, check it out. 1878, $10 United States note. Dang. Let me walk you through it real quick here. It says Act of March 3rd, 1863, over here. It's got some tiny tens that go across. And then across the top here, it says This note is a legal tender for $10. And just below that it says engraved and printed at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Uh, series 1878. It's got the number there. Okay. United States will pay to the bearer $10. Washington, D.C. It's got the uh, Treasury Seal here in red. And then it's got a kind of, it's got like a butterfly seal. Uh, it says 10 in it. And of course, it's signed by uh, Allison and Jophilian. Okay, this grumpy looking dude here, he was a conservative uh, senator of Massachusetts. And uh, he was pretty vocal and uh, spoke up against uh, Andrew Jackson and uh, the Democratic Party. And uh, I don't know if y'all knew this or not, but and Andrew Jackson was actually a, a Democrat. And, uh, uh, Brother Webster here was a, a, a Republican, I guess. And uh, pretty interesting. Um, over on this side, you can see there's a, a a man and a woman. And then there looks like a queen and some other people here. And that's actually uh, Pocahontas right here being presented to the, uh, the Royal Court of England. Yeah, that, I think that's John Smith. I'm not sure, but uh, probably is or something. And uh, now this note is actually noted for being the uh, a jackass note. Okay, let me see if I can do this so you can see it. When you take the bill and you turn it upside down, and you zoom in on that eagle, see how the eagle turns into a donkey? Yeah, that's why it's called a jackass bill. Now let me show you the back here. Alright, let me see if I got it centered. Alright, there it is. So, uh, on this one here, it's got 10 and then it says $10. And then it's got a different type of X dollars here. $10, of course, and then 10 right? Uh, across the top here, it says Colombian Banknote Company, Washington, D.C., that's who printed these bills. And uh, over on this side, it says patented July, I think it says 24, 1866 or 1868 or so. Um, over here, it's got its Confederates claw, uh, not, excuse me, not Confederate, it's got its counterfeiting clause. And uh, let me see if I can read it from my poor eyesight. It says, this note is a legal tender at, at its face value. For all debts, public and private, except duties on imports and interest on the public debt. Counterfeiting or altering this note, or passing any counterfeit or alter alteration of it, or having in possession any false or counterfeit plate or impression of it, or any paper made in initiation of the paper on which it is printed is felony and is punishable by five thousand dollars fine or 15 years imprisonment at hard labor or both man they weren't messing around back in the day hard labor meant hard labor not this kind of crap they put you through with the the prisons now oh uh, I, I don't know i don't really hear anybody saying how it's hard labor anymore hard time you know Back in the day when they said hard labor and hard time, they really meant it, man. But uh, the prisons have gotten so damn liberal here. But uh, anyway, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to say my political views and stuff in this note. I just want to talk about money. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I got a few more here. I'm gonna try to squeeze in.